Hi everyone, it's Coot here. Where in your life are you not speaking the truth? With whom, how, and where? And what is it costing you to not speak the truth? What is it costing you in your life, in your career, within yourself, in your relationships, in your health to suppress, to hold back, to withhold and not speak the authentic truth of your being? Often there is a very high price to pay when we don't speak our truth. We end up suppressing so much and in suppressing so much we end up killing off parts of ourselves that we then don't have access to expressing. We end up suppressing all sorts of emotions, anger, fear, sadness, hurt, guilt, which is what it turns into. And it affects our health, it affects our vitality, it affects our sense of being who we are and our aliveness. Are you speaking your truth fully? Are you being your truth fully? And what is the truth that you wish to speak? That if you did speak would free you to that next level. See, I believe that the truth ultimately serves everyone even though it doesn't seem that way at first. Yet so often in our culture, we're so afraid of speaking the truth. We, we suppress, we hold, we withhold, we hide, we numb, we kind of go around, we play white lies, and we end up wasting so much time, creating so much suffering for ourselves and those around us. If we simply just spoke the truth, it would often make things so much simpler and really move us on the path to living an authentic life. The truth serves everyone. Yet we often don't speak the truth because maybe we're afraid. We're afraid if we speak the truth, we won't be loved. We won't be accepted. We're afraid if we speak the truth, the people won't validate us. We're afraid if we speak the truth, our marriages will be over. We're afraid if we speak the truth, we won't survive financially. You know, we, how will we make it if we really speak the truth about how we feel to our boss or, or at work? I mean, what will happen? Just know this. The price of not speaking the truth and the price of not being yourself. The question becomes, is it worth the compromise? Is it worth the compromise? You know, from the moment we're born as children, often we learn a whole set of strategies to survive and function and in doing that we learn to lie we learn to disconnect and we learn often to not fully be ourselves because if we're ourselves we get pain sometimes if we're ourselves we, we we're not accepted so we learn to withhold the truth and what level of truth to speak and not speak that's safe but in that we suppress and disconnect from the sense of our true freedom. What is the truth that you really need to speak? What would you say if what you've been saying wasn't what you needed to say? What would you express if what you've been expressing wasn't what you needed to express? And I believe that when you speak the truth, it frees up so much energy and it will change your life. There is a power when you decide to speak the truth. But just know when you speak the truth, it's not about speaking it for someone else. It's ultimately about speaking it for yourself to free yourself. So when you decide to speak the truth, it's important to ask yourself, what is my deepest truth? What's the deepest truth in my being right now about what I feel about this situation? Not what do I think the truth is or what do I think it should be, but what is my real authentic truth right now at this level of who I'm being right now? So that's number one, get in touch with what is the truth and then get committed to speaking the truth, not simply for the other person, but ultimately speaking the truth for yourself. So when you have a commitment to communicate, to communicate, not simply communicate for the response you're going to get or communicate so that you'll get something back, but just to speak the truth, to speak the truth, to communicate, to simply communicate, there is a great freedom in that because you're no longer monitoring and looking for how that person is going to respond and then you're going to shift how you're going to speak the truth. You're going to speak the truth, but what's important is when you speak the truth, your responsibility is ultimately 
for how you speak the truth. And then if you're able to speak and you're willing to speak the truth from your heart with as much love, with as much humility, with as much compassion, with as much sincerity, with, as, with the intention to serve your evolution and the other person's evolution and everyone's growth and evolution concerned and you speak the truth with that intention the intention being the truth that I speak will expand the possibility for loving it will rearrange the current structure and expand the possibility of loving when you speak the truth being responsible for how you speak it that is the key that you speak the truth with that intention while taking full responsibility for how you speak it and not simply taking on how that person is going to interpret it, how that person is going to receive it, their response, but to speak it. It often takes courage to speak the truth, real courage from the heart. And that's often why so many of us don't speak the truth and aren't that honest. But just know that when you speak the truth to someone or in a situation, it will inspire force and cause those you speak the truth to, to also come more into alignment with their truth. So just by you speaking your deepest truth, just know you serve those around you to come into a higher level of truth themselves. Truth spoken from the most authentic place has a profound impact. This reminds me of a couple of clients I was working with. They've been married for about 10 years and she wasn't in love with him and he wasn't really in love with her and they were just staying together because they were afraid to, to tell each other they weren't really in love with each other because they loved each other but they weren't in love with each other. So they were existing in this relationship and this structure that they thought should be and based on what will people think and my family and my parents and society and you know, where are you allowing people's opinions, society's opinions, things outside to determine your level of freedom and the level of truth that you're willing to feel, express and live. Simply that becomes a prison. So finally, as I worked with these clients of mine, she, the, the, the wife finally mustered up enough courage to tell her husband, you know, I love you, but I'm not in love with you in that way anymore. And he finally said, and she was so afraid, she thought, oh my God, he's going to be so hurt, he's going to be devastated. And he finally told her, wow, thank God you've had the courage to tell me because I've been feeling the same way for about six years as well. And they just looked at each other and I was like, wow, why did we wait so long to speak the truth to each other? As you evolve and as you grow, the truth you may have, the, a truth that you may have felt you know, six years ago, will also shift and change and evolve and grow to match the level of consciousness that you are at now. So the truth you felt six years ago may not be your deepest truth now. Living an authentic life is really the courage to live in alignment with your deepest truth now and now and now and now and now and now and now, which is constantly evolving. So that willingness to be so present with yourself, so present with the moment will cause life to shift. So just know because you made a commitment and what was your truth then may not be your truth now. The courage to feel what your truth is now and speak that lovingly and humbly and with integrity is what it is to be truly alive. Are you willing to be that alive? Are you willing to be that authentic? Are you willing to speak your truth? Speak your truth and set yourself and those around you free to be more of who they truly are as well. Love you.